The English Channel is home to many beautiful creatures, but few know of the mermaids who inhabit the channel's currents. While most mermaids are found on the pages of books, Northern News Now's Isabella Zadra takes us to Hayward to hear the tale of how a group of Wisconsin mermaids took on the challenge of a lifetime. Picture it, four women in a salon. It's no steel magnolias, but this story is definitely film worthy. At the tightest salon in Hayward, you won't find Dolly, Sally, or Olympia. You can put a triple crown right on the mermaid. Ooh. She'd have a huge, like, tiara. <laughs> you will find Jennifer Titus, Pamela Tashner, Lisa Weishving, and Michelle DeYoung. They call themselves the Wisconsin oh Swim Mermaids. This summer, after three years of training, they swam the entirety of the English Channel. The whole journey started when Michelle met Pamela and told her about her dream of swimming this race. And she'd asked people throughout her life to join her on the adventure and got rejected until she met uh, me and then Jen and Lisa here were on board as well. All four of the women quickly bonded over their love of swimming, kicking off the next three years of their lives. Training for the team consisted of much more than peaceful swims on the lakes. They worked on speed, strength, and even on adapting to colder swimming conditions. Our bodies and got used to watching each other get cold, so occasionally your lips will get purple and people might start stammering which are the initial signs potentially of hypothermia, but we really started to understand like our body limits and how long we could be in the water. Then in August, the mermaids achieved their goal. <laughs> they finished the 26 mile relay race from Dover, England to France in 11 hours and 20 minutes. Crushing it. But no matter how hard they swam or how cold they got, the connections that they made were what got them through to the finish line. So I personally think, no, I wouldn't have been able to do it with just any old team. I definitely think we've helped each other like be braver. Like yeah, I can definitely totally. do more with you guys than like by myself. Titus, Pamela, Lisa, and Michelle hoped their story will put more confidence into adult swimmers and anyone who is looking to chase a dream. And here we are, a bunch of middle-aged yeah. northern Wisconsin moms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all of busy jobs, all of kids, and yeah, we founded it out, and it was, yeah, that's, that was a pretty awesome feeling. In Hayward, Isabella Zadra, Northern News Now. And while the other leaders are taking a break after their long stride, Titus is joining a team to swim in the Edmund Fitzgerald Memorial Swim happening next August.